Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and tonight we are reviewing a bottle of bourbon that not only is not bourbon, but also technically is bourbon. But if you don't believe that it's bourbon, you don't have to. As a matter of fact, the producers of this bourbon don't even call it bourbon. And they won't even admit that it is bourbon. And except for sometimes they do. Just, just depends on the day. Today, we're dipping our whistle into Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Single Barrel Tennessee Whiskey. Let's get frisky. This bad bugger comes in a box. It comes in a box so you know it's good. Is the box made out of wood? Nope, but it looks like it's made out of wood, which in my book is almost just as good as being real wood. Barrel proof single barrel is whiskey as nature intended. Our master distiller has presented this whiskey at the proof yielded to us by our handmade, toasted and charred American oak barrels, specially selected for their depth of flavor. From grain to barrel and straight to the bottle, our barrel proof single barrel is available in very limited quantities for those who appreciate a pure taste experience. Like me, and like you. America, America. America, America. This bad bugger is wearing a collar. It's wearing a collar because it was hand selected by a store. This one is Lucas Wine and Spirits Superstore in Denver, Colorado. Don't try to get away with drinking this without anybody finding out because the collar will make her holler every time. America. Good cork pop. Cork it back up. Bottle shape and bottle design. B E A. Beautiful. Friggin' love it. I love the way it's shaped. I love its bulgy shaft and its fat cork on top. It says hand select it right there. The golden black is just nice and beautiful. It says Jack Daniels in bulgy letters on the front. Now here's a question. I do not know the answer to this question. Somebody knows the answer to this question. Put it in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know if I'm onto something here or if I'm not onto something, which is typically the case. The dangle, the dangly tag, the noisemaker says, specifically selected for Lucas Wine and Spirits Superstore. Now this is the only single barrel store pick that I've had of Jack Daniels. When it says specifically selected for Lucas Wine and Spirits, does that mean that the folks at Jack Daniels selected a barrel for the store? Or does it mean that the folks at Lucas Wine and Spirits actually chose a barrel? Because the way it's worded sounds like Lucas Wine and Spirits did not select the barrel but somebody else selected it for them. Am I onto something or am I just a ginormic, huge, not smart, not smarty pants, who's not onto anything at all? I don't know, this is getting heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. I have tasted Jack Daniel's single barrel barrel proof several times on the channel, but I've never properly reviewed it or given it a score until today, until right now. Right now we're gonna be super judgmental and we're just gonna pick this bugger apart. Time to get critical. The swirl, the swirl is phenomenal. What a solid swirl. I think it swirls so good because there are so many S's in Tennessee whiskey. That's just science and math. The color reminds me of a synthetic motor oil that you maybe put six or seven miles on maybe a 5W30, 5W20 possibly, because the viscosity is thick with seven C's. Thick, 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 thick. Purple bubblegum, grape bubblicious bubblegum, a little bit of a runt banana. The runts, the runt banana, artificial, a little bit of artificial banana. It smells like a red popsicle, like a red freezy pop that comes in like the long 
you cut the end off of them and then you push the thing up and they're like a foot long. The real cheap popsicle smells like a red one of those. That's what it reminds me of. To be totally honest, to be totally honest, the only other time I've had this particular pour out of that bottle was in a rocks glass. It was neat in a rocks glass and the nose smelled nothing like this. Absolutely nothing. The nose smelled a heck of a lot like peanuts. And I'm not getting that on the nose out of this glass. It smells oily, which is always nice. You can smell a viscosity sometimes in bourbons, which is kind of weird to say, but it's true. It's super true. If you don't believe me, then start believing me. And if you can't do that, get out of here. Just get. Get out of here. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, and get, get the heck out. The nose is wonderful. You know, the peanut is starting to come a little bit stronger now, but, ooh, it's, there's like a peanut cream saver, which doesn't exist, but is, it's very existent here in this, in this class. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. I'll be... Just kidding, probably not a 10. Probably not a 10. Down the hatch. Wow. That is it's a strong bugger. It's got some mus it's got some mus it's muscular with testosterone and muscles and veins. It's in the world's strongest man competition and not doing bad. I was right. I was right about the nose. It is an oily bugger. It's super viscous. It's really sticking to everywhere in my mouth. Even parts of the mouth I didn't know existed until now. Strong nuttiness. Bit of a strong nuttiness coming off on this first sip. First sip was... First sip was a palate shocker. It really shocked the... shocked old Duder's palate. But I enjoyed the first sip. Now let's take a second sip and really diagnose. Hard candy up front. The hard, it's like a sweet, sweet Jolly Rancher up front, like a cherry Jolly Rancher. And then as, as it moves back, to, back on the palate, as it moves back on the palate, it gets a little medicinal, maybe more like a Hall's cough drop as it, as it goes to the back. There's a peanut oil, a peanut oil that kind of lingers and sticks around the entire time. I would say that this barrel is pretty comparable to other single barrels that I've purchased off the shelf that weren't store picks. Pretty comparable. This 132 proof bugger did not let me down. Jack Daniels, single barrel barrel proof, is a great, a great barrel strength whiskey, bourbon, Tennessee whiskey that you can find in a lot of places. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof is a damn good whiskey. It's a damn good Tennessee whiskey. I give, I give Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof a score of eight point Three. 8.3 Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. I dig it. I freaking dig it. It's super proofy. It's super oily. It's a flavor explosion. It's an 8.3. It is right up my alley and right up my ass. So if you haven't tried Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof, definitely give it a shot, especially at the price point. 60 bucks, 60 bucks ish. 65 bucks for a bottle of this, definitely worth it. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on making things that look good, like this. Look at it, such, such a nice look. If I were to critique my parents for anything, really for anything, I would say that they should have made me better looking. They should have brought me to maybe some sort of designer or like some sort of like, some sort of like 
I don't know, human designer. And then they should have went through a few things just to perfect a couple things that maybe I don't necessarily have physically that I would like to have, like a totally different body and a better looking face. Um, but, but, I mean, my parents are basically perfect in every other regard, except for they built this and called it good. So I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. I treat this body with respect and never overeat, never drink too much, and I live a stress-free lifestyle. So it's their fault, not mine. Definitely their fault. Love you, Mom. Don't cry. You're the best. I was joking. I was joking. I was kidding. You didn't have to cry about that. You just, dang it. All right. Now I got a caller. I'll call you in a minute. Bye.